tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on the streets of Long Beach here on Forza Motorsport 7. We are in my ESDA spec Camaro ZL1 Forza edition because uh, ESDA round one is at Long Beach and it is about a month away. Qualifying is on the 14th of April, which gives me about a month to get practiced and uh, try and get that qualifying line as well as tandem practice. Uh, I have determined that I will be sticking with this Camaro for ESDA because uh, I'm very comfortable with it. It's stable and uh, I've become to love this car a lot. So we are here to try and get some practice to try and get that perfect qualifying line. Get a little more, you know, practice in this car. But we got to heat up our tires and everything first because we are running full sim. Well, not sim. We are running... Um, you know tires as well as fuel just like the rules are so we can go here and kind of warm up our tires a little bit get some wear in those tires and then we're gonna try and send a qualifying run and see if we can't get a decent run here now I don't know the full start and stop points so we're just going to kind of go with it because I know it's a 50 roll first and then acceleration so here we go first try initiate in a little bit early running that wall not as far out as I want to be to there and uh yep that run was uh pretty bad from the get my initiation kind of threw my line off so we're just going to go back to the start and give it another go. I was doing a lot of good qualifying runs yesterday when I was getting some practice on, but uh, of course, you know, when I wasn't, you know, recording to show you guys it, you know, I was doing a lot better than I was now. So we're going to uh, flip it around, try this again. Not going to wreck our car though. So I am looking forward to competing in ESDA this year. Uh, I believe my teammate MK6 is going to hop on ESDA with me and we're going to try and see if we can't do some justice so here we go tip number two initiate a little bit later there we go still not as wise as I want to be on that and really straight there so I think I may have messed up with some of my settings and uh or I'm just you know trying to do something because yesterday I was out, I was getting good with it. I don't know if it's the tire wear difference that's making me a little bit sketchy, or if it's just I'm um, uh, not quite, you know, comfortable after a long day of work. So we're gonna try this again. Hopefully I can actually get a good run. But uh, because I would uh, be very upset if I was not able to get a good run. All right, here we go. A really long initiation but not bad there we go it's a little better okay so that's a little bit better of a run not as wide on that touch and go as I want to be but uh at least a solid judgeable run for a qualifying aspect here at Long Beach so not the best run so we're gonna flip it around and give it another go so if you guys are competing in ESDA, which I know a couple people are. Let me know what you guys are running if you want to. Um, like I said, I will be definitely sticking with this Camaro. Uh, I was going to possibly do the Mustang, but I don't have it yet because I uh, haven't been able to get, you know, up in the championship to get it. So, try not to completely burn off our tires. So, at least we got one qualifying run down, but we would have screwed up our first two runs, so we wouldn't have actually qualified. We would have uh, definitely been out right away. Don't want to do that when it comes time on the 14th for actual qualifying. And once I find the actual line, I will know for sure if I'm running this right. Initiate in, there we go. 
I know I don't know if rumble strips are okay or not. So that's not too bad. Is an amazing run. I don't definitely not there. Like I said, I got a month to practice, so definitely uh, gonna be doing as much practice as I can. So if you guys want to hop online and do some tandem practices here at Long Beach, I will be probably doing some open lobbies, maybe some live broadcasting of some practice here at Long Beach. Especially if you guys are gonna be, you know, attempting to compete in ESDA as well. Uh, why not try and get some practice? See, my tires are already yellow, so I kind of want to see how far this is gonna go and see you know how much this changes we are only at 200 degrees in the rear light it up a little bit let's give it another go that was a really bad entry but Trying to make something out of it. Really shallow there. And I always run really wide there. So, I got a little bit of practice to do here at Long Beach. Um, I think we're going to restart it and uh, reset our tires here. And then we will uh, give it another shot. I know I could just run this without tire wear, but I'm trying to run it with tire wear and fuel just like it would be in the ESDA. Uh, like I said, I will be doing some uh, more practice sessions, trying to get some people on here so I can get, you know, practice tandeming with uh, other drivers. So if you guys want to be a part of that, let me know down in the comment section down below. So I'm going to run this like I would if it was our actual qualifying time at ESDA. Because uh, I get two runs, so that's all that matters. We only get two runs, that's all we can get. So we're gonna warm our tires up going this way. There we go. Alright. Now we got two runs, so we're gonna run this just like it. There's a 50 roll. I also wanna say that's the starting point. Initiate in. Probably early on the initiation, just touching rumble strips. Rear bumper out to the wall, really shallow on there, but not too, too bad on this latter part. So that is actually a good run. I think that would be a very good judgeable run. Uh, would it be a really high qualifying run? That I don't know. Because uh, I was good on the first touch and go on initiation. A little bit early. I'm not sure if running the rumble strips is illegal or not. I got to double check and watch their videos for Long Beach. But uh, the first outside touch and go wing was over the wall. So that's really good. Didn't change my drift angle at all. Uh, second outer zone right here it was a little bit shallow and then I was a little bit shallow in the outer in the third outer zone but uh I think that's a testament to the initiation that was a little bit shaky so we're gonna run this again and see uh where we're at for a second run so we essentially have one run in the books and now we're gonna and we're going to send this one. On throttle, here we go. Oh, I initiated too early. So I'm going to try and save this run. want to be able to get out to this touch and go, but I was a little shallow on all zones. But at least it's a qualifying run until the end. Ah, uh, get wrecked. So I think we're going to try and do that one more time. Run another two qualifying runs. So at least we got one good qualifying run out of that. So we're going to restart it, do 
two more. I think that'll do it for this episode. Just trying to get my bearings in search of that perfect qualifying run. So, like I said, ESDA is about a month away for round one. Um, they did do the exhibition at Lime Rock, and there's a lot of nice cars, a lot of good drivers. So, definitely looking forward to uh, getting into one of the rounds and qualifying into the battles. Um, hopefully I can do that here at Long Beach and, uh, you know, hopefully I can get into a actual tandem battle in Long Beach and, uh, we can have a little fun. Definitely we'll be bringing all that content to you guys uh, here on the channel from my point of view because I'm sure ESDA has all theirs, but, uh, from my view and, you know, my impressions and, you know, my reactions. So you guys will see it on my channel for sure. Definitely will let you guys know if I qualify and such. So we're gonna do this again. We got two runs wrong. I don't want to change views. Well, we don't want to wreck our car, but we're, we'll be okay. But hopefully we don't do that in the ESDA because that would just look so bad. All right, here we go. Initiate between the three and the 200. Nice on that outside wall. A little bit shallow on that touch and go. Nice on that touch and go though. So overall that was actually a very good run. Uh, a little bit shallow on one or two of the zones, but not too, too bad. To get a message from that man. I don't know uh, what it is, but uh, we'll check that message out. You know, he's gonna get a little bit of shout out here on the channel. Hopefully, it's nothing bad like you suck, you rabbit, you know, I hate you, or you know, something on those lines. So, we're gonna get one more run in here, get our tire feed back up. Heat up our tires. Definitely am in love with this Camaro. This thing is very stable, really sticky. So, and I like the wide body. Not a big fan of the wing, but I may be changing some downforce issues um, or downforces throughout the rounds. I think I can. All right, here we go. Initiate in. That's a better initiation. Here we go. A little bit shallow there, but, ooh, wall tap. Definitely don't want to do that in qualifying or tandem runs. So there we go. So this time we were able to get two decent runs here on the streets of Long Beach. So definitely going to be doing a lot more practice. Like I said, I'll be running some online sessions. So if you guys want to join in some online sessions here at Long Beach, I think we're just going to send this car here for a lap. If you guys want to join in? Get some tandems, get some practice. You know, definitely be uh, looking to the channel for when I'm online doing some online live practice. That would be sweet if I could have linked that, but I didn't. Because I probably will be doing live stream practice for ESDA here at the streets of Long Beach. Apparently, this is a race, but I have my drift hood on. I probably should turn that off. Just tap. Uh, I didn't want to tap with the front end. So like I said, guys, uh, you know, I do appreciate all the support from you guys, especially we'll be appreciating all the support here coming with me trying to compete in the SDA. I would definitely appreciate all the support from everybody on the channel. That's a really long e-brake grab. So I do appreciate everything, all the comments you guys do. So if you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Woo, we just missed that tire barrier. So this is not the speed entry we'd be entering, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna try and flick this in. Surprised we even made that. See when I'm not actually like super focused, like that's perfect on those two outer zones. So I think I just need to have fun with it when I'm qualifying and such because 
I mean, that was, like, even better than my other runs. So we're going to check out that message that this man sent us real quick before we end out this session. So uh, we got a message from Liberty Drift saying, hey, I like your YouTube channel. Apparently this guy's been uh, following the channel for a while. Big shout out to you, Liberty Drift. We're going to send you a message here. Just because we are here. Like I said, I do reply to a lot of messages that I get. I don't think I have it. Oh, did I just screw that up? Aw. Oh. So I'm going to send this guy a message back. So you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Stay tuned to the channel for more content coming out with the ESDA fast approaching. And as always, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Yeah.